What is the Mandela Effect? What implications does it have on our day-to-day -day lives? Today, we present to you six creepy cases of the Mandela Effect. Psychological pioneers Sigmund Freud and Pierre Janet were among the first to investigate the phenomenon of false memories. Their studies defined them as instances where individuals recalled something that did not actually take place. Freud discussed the connection between hysteria and repressed memories of childhood sexual trauma in his book, The Etiology of Hysteria. American mathematician Peter J. Freud originated the term false memory syndrome in 1992 following accusations of sexual abuse from his daughter, which Freud denied. He and his wife founded the False Memory Syndrome Foundation, even though it is not recognized as psychiatric illness and research into it is considered to be controversial, there is an important distinction to be made between false memory syndrome and false memories. The syndrome describes a condition in which an individual's identity and relationships are affected by their strong belief in memories that are factually incorrect. The syndrome is thus considered to greatly influence the orientation of a person's life due to their adamant belief that their memory is correct, while the occurrence of false memories does not necessarily rely on this effect. The memory of human beings is created and highly suggestible. It may create a broad array of embarrassing, innocuous, or frightening memories through various techniques such as hypnosis, guided imagery, or suggestion by others. The majority of people that develop false memories will defend their belief in the existence of the implanted events even after the fact that the memories were planted deliberately is revealed to them. Various theories regarding the existence of false memories and the suggestibility of human memory have sparked new interests in the scientific community concerning the manner in which memories are encoded, stored, and recalled. The Mandela Effect may be seen as a consequence of the scientific pursuit that aims at untangling the mysteries of human memory. It refers to collective false memories where a group of people recall the same factually inaccurate events. The term was first coined by researcher, author, and paranormal consultant Fiona Broom. The Mandela Effect has received a significant amount of attention on the internet, with people posting the various false memories that they have had on forums and message boards only to find others that share the same experience. According to Broom, these collective false memories are not mere coincidences. They serve as evidence of alternate realities and alternate timelines and of our ability of sliding in and out of them. Broom has discussed this exploration of alternate realities can often take place unconsciously. She has speculated that the individuals who have strong alternate memories may be accustomed to frequently sliding into other realities, whether they choose to do it or not. The memories that they have are only considered false in the current timeline as they describe events that have taken place in an alternate timeline from a parallel universe. Some commentators, however, believe that the formation of these collective false memories is influenced by similar factors that affect multiple people. These include false news reports, social reinforcements of false memories, or misleading photographs. Some believe that the Mandela Effect may represent an indication of subconscious links that exist in the mind of individuals that are are connected in a type of consciousness network. Others consider them to be proof regarding the existence of holodecks, which are simulated worlds or false holograms that contain glitches. Regardless of what the truth might be, here's a look at six creepy instances of the Mandela Effect. Number 6. The Death of Nelson Mandela when Fiona Broom initially coined the term Mandela Effect in 2010, its name was derived from an example of the effect itself. She had vivid memories of Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s, even though he was actually still alive at that time. Broom then discovered a community of people that shared similar memories regarding his death. Afterwards, she shared this experience on the internet. Hundreds of people, the vast majority of whom were complete strangers to each other, then started to share similar posts in which they too recall the death of the South African politician and that it had taken place in prison in the 1980s. Many often cited vivid or less clear memories of seeing his widow make a speech, snippets from his televised funeral or other large public memorials. One of the commentators on Broom's website distinctly remembered an Oprah show, a live concert shown on several channels and funeral proceedings all connected to the Nobel Peace Prize laureate's death in 
in prison in the 1980s. Moreover, the commentator's mother had the same memories. However, none of these events had ever taken place, and Nelson Mandela would actually die on the 5th of December 2013 at the age of 95 after suffering from a prolonged respiratory infection. After Broom's posts and the birth of the Mandela effect, other people started finding anomalies that they shared in the memory of history. One common interpretation of the Mandela effect is focused on the theory that we have previously lived or somehow transferred between two parallel universes in one of them. The former South African president died while in the other he lived and some people are able to recall the incidents from the alternate timeline. Number 5. Alternate Depictions of Popular Characters those who follow the Pokemon series remember a black tip at the end of Pikachu's tail. This is not, however, the way in which the character is depicted, as his lightning bolt shaped tail is almost entirely yellow. A large number of people are shocked to find out that Curious George never had a tail, as they clearly remember him using his to swing from trees. Another image that is ingrained in our memories is that of rich Uncle Pennybags, also known as the Monopoly Man. However, many people often picture him wearing a monocle when he actually is not. Number 4. The Death of Harry Houdini Many people vividly remember the illusionist and escape artist Harry Houdini died during one of his intense performances in an accident that usually results in him drowning or suffocating from being buried alive. Some responsibility for the false memory is attributed to the 1953 Houdini film starring Tony Curtis, which contained a number of historical inaccuracies. However, even people that reportedly had not seen the film remembered Houdini dying in similar fashion. Harry Houdini took great pride in the strength of his abdominal muscles and in his ability of taking a punch to the abdominal region regardless of who was throwing it and of the force they put into it. All Houdini needed was to see the hit coming so that he had time to contract his muscles and absorb the impact. Unfortunately, one student tested Houdini's ability when he was not ready and punched him in the abdomen, rupturing his appendix. Despite how many remember the death of the great illusion, he actually died as a result of peritonitis. Number 3. Alternate Spelling in many instances, the Mandela Effect has been linked with the misspelling of several well-known brand names or television program or book titles. Supporters of the Mandela Effect concept believe that we are, in fact, remembering the names as they are spelled in an alternate reality or parallel universe. One example that has recently gained a lot of internet attention is that of the popular children's book series, The Berenstein Beers. The majority of people remember the Steen ending in the name as being spelled with an E when it is actually spelled with an A, which would make the title the Berenstain Beers. Despite what our memories might tell us, Smoky Beer does not contain a THE article in the title. Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck are cartoon characters that are well known around the world. They are, along with many other beloved characters, part of the Looney Tunes, and many people think that Tunes is spelled with a double O, as in cartoons, when in fact it is spelled with a U. When people think about a box of Fruit Loops, they they imagine that fruit is written in the same manner as it is in the dictionary. However, this is not the case as it's actually spelled with double O. Kit Kat does not have a dash between Kit and Cat. Jiffy Peanut Butter does not exist as the actual name of the product is Jiff Peanut Butter. Some have blamed pronunciation issues and others have cited the Mandela Effect for the added T in how people remember the spelling of Skeechers, the popular sneaker brand. Number 2 alternate movie quotes and song lyrics. Sliding into alternate realities can lead to alternate memories of movie quotes, according to Mandela Effect theoreticians. In the confrontation between Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, the latter never says, Luke, I am your father. Despite the fact that it has been almost unanimously quoted as such for decades, the line he actually delivers is, No, I am your father. Anthony Hopkins received an Academy Award for his critically acclaimed portrayal of Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs. One of the most 
quoted lines of the movie, Hello Clarice, which people remember him saying to Jodie Foster's character upon meeting her for the first time. Another viewing of the film will reveal the only thing he says to her is good morning. Many remember the Queen from Snow White as saying mirror mirror on the wall, while in fact she says magic mirror on the wall. When people sing along to We Are The Champions by Queen, they tend to add of the world to the end of the song's final chorus. The version sang by Freddie Mercury, however, does not contain these words. Number 1. The Tank Man in Tiananmen Square The 1989 protest that took place in Tiananmen Square showed the world a remarkable symbol of civil disobedience through the image of the Tank Man. It is of an unnamed man who in peaceful resistance stands alone in the path of approaching tanks. He was named the Unknown Rebel by Time Magazine and he was later included in a list of the 100 most influential people of the 20th century. Such a powerful image is sure to create a lasting impact impression, yet a number of people remember a different version of the aftermath. One commenter wrote, I have a memory of watching this live with my mum, glued to the set holding our breath, but certain that like in any movie, the tanks would stop. They didn't. The tank ran right over him and we were horrified. I remember feeling panicked, then later realizing that this was the first death that I witnessed in real time. There are people who vividly remember the tank man being run over and killed by the oncoming tanks. Even though interpretations and speculations of what happened to the man after the demonstration vary, with some saying that he was arrested and executed by the authorities and others believing that he went into hiding, the available video footage does not show him being run over. In fact, tank man was dragged out of the way after a short encounter with the tank's driver. Some theories are focused on the idea that we live in a simulated world and our misremembering of these events is not our fault as they actually represent glitches in the simulation. The main function of the room is to provide a stash of hard currency for the personal use of senior members of the government, including the ruling dictator. There, a staff of over 100 people coordinate international operations in order to raise funds, mostly through the use of illegal methods.